All right, today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a volcano here with lightning coming out of it. All right, so the question of the day is, how does volcanic lightning form? All right, let's run through the colors. Turn number, Indian yellow, head yellow dark, primary yellow, twin red, fully red dark, titanium white, Mars black, ultramarine blue, twin blue, yellow green. <laughs> Black is obviously drying very fast. Uh, this is drying a little bit slower because it does have blue in it. And obviously this blue is gonna dry maybe a half an hour instead of a normal 15 minutes. So we'll see how it turns out the next layer. All right, we're on our second layer. We're gonna add um, another darker blue, fill that in. It looks like it's dried really well. Um, kind of add more detail into the mountain. So this has, you know, like the falls and then the lava going down. This is obviously the wrong color. It has to be a really bright orange and then a bright yellow in the middle and then almost a pure red, so you want to use pure colors that's kind of too muddy. It's okay here, but that has to be cleaned up. Uh, the grass is just very general right now. I'll probably just add another dark layer until this gets filled, and then I'll add the lighter layers on top. Here, maybe we'll add a little bit more white. Um, we just have to start to have to add the underbrush here. I think this is good enough paint in, so this is going to be a lot lighter. Um, maybe fill this in. These colors aren't, these are a little bit too green, I think. Maybe this is more of a darker color. Same here. Uh, the sky's looking okay. I added a little bit of splash. Um, so this time I'm going to glaze this so that those splashes come through. All right, for this layer, uh, we added a little bit of splash. We're going to, next cut, we're going to use kind of gloss to cover that up, but not completely cover because um, acrylic is more opaque. We need to uh, define these mountains a little better. This is kind of okay. It's coming together. Uh, this is a little bit green and blue. Um, this needs to be out of the plants on top, so we'll see where it goes from there. <laughs>
lightning isn't formed by a thundercloud, it's actually formed by the volcano itself. And what happens is there's ice crystals in the clouds and they have this electronic discharge with the volcanic uh, fume because it's so hot and it's such an instant um, change of reaction. And so it causes the electrons to jump from one to another in the clouds. So that's how volcanic lightning forms. That's the question of the day. All right, we just finished the painting. Let's take a closer look. So we have this really dark sky. It should be a little bit lighter. We'll see how it dries. Um, I get the lightning strike against it, which is really powerful, as well as the lava flow coming out of the volcano. There's a little bit of um, lava splash. And at the very end, we added this light green grass, which um, the light green grass contrasts really well with the red, obviously, and makes the blue pop as well on the gray. It's a really dark painting, but it's at nighttime, so you can't really, you could make a lighter sky, but it just wouldn't make sense. Um, I was thinking of adding a moon, but I don't really think it needs it with um, the volcano as the center of action. I mean, the moon's gonna be boring if you add it. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, I think it's pretty well done. Uh, we'll see how it dries. It'll probably dry a lot nicer. Um, right now it's getting a little bit of shine because of all the gloss uh, that's still drying. So we'll see how that dries in the morning and uh, hopefully you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe below and I'll see you in the next painting video. Thanks for watching guys.